Okay, the last thing we have to consider to complete this derivation is uh, conservation of energy. Okay, so the sum of kinetic and potential energy is equal to constant over this uh, interaction. And so initially, the, uh, when the particle comes in from far away, it has kinetic energy equal to one half mv naught squared, but it has no uh, potential energy because it's far away from the scattering center, so the Coulomb, uh, the Coulomb uh, force is essentially zero. Okay, and then at um, when it's uh, far away over here, okay, it's going with velocity uh, v infinity. We'll call it that. And um, again, it's so it's kinetic energy. Uh, when it's far away after the collision, when it's receding, is one half v, uh, one half m v infinity squared, and again it has no potential energy if it's far enough away. Okay, so obviously what this means is that the final velocity, final speed, is equal to the initial speed. So <clears throat> that means that the uh, remember that the y, comp y component of the y component of the uh, velocity is a function of phi, okay? It's a function of phi, and it's equal to this, okay? So <clears throat> at theta minus at pi minus theta. <clears throat> when phi is equal to pi minus theta, uh, then this is equal to v infinity times sine of theta, which is which is now, uh, as we found, v naught times sine of theta, okay? So the y component of the, of the velocity uh, at, at the, uh, after the collision is just equal to v naught sine theta. So this allows us to relate essentially theta and, and phi. Okay. So now if we plug in um, uh, our expression that we found on the previous view graph for v sub y at, at uh, theta minus pi, pi minus theta, uh, then we get that uh, z times, little z times big Z e squared over four pi epsilon naught b v sub zero m times one minus, and then remember it's cosine of phi, and here phi is theta minus pi, one minus cosine of, or sorry, it's pi minus theta. Um, and that is equal to v naught times sine of theta. Now there's a trigonometric identity here that we want to use and that is that uh, cosine of theta is equal to cosine is equal to minus cosine okay of um, pi minus theta okay <coughs> and so little z big Z e squared over 4 pi uh, epsilon naught b v naught times m is equal to v naught times sine theta over 1 plus cosine of theta. And another trigonometric identity is that sine of theta over one plus cosine of theta is equal to tangent of theta over two. Okay, so when you plug this in, we get an expression re which relates uh, theta and uh, the uh, impact parameter b, initial velocity, um, the mass, and the the charges in the ma and the atomic numbers basically the charges. And so this is uh, very close to our final expression.